Time for another Let's Play, and this time it's yet another NES game. And I can guarantee you that you never heard of this one. Or maybe you have, but it's rare. It's a European only game. It's called Euphoria. And it's made by Sunsoft. You hardcore gamers must remember Sunsoft from other games like Blastmaster. Hmm? Well then, let's start this very awkward game. But it's actually really well made. Well, what's the story? You're this dude, and you've lost your three friends, and now you gotta travel around the world to find them, and there's something else behind the story, but it's not really explained, but basically you, you four guys got stranded here, and you have to, yeah, find your spaceship or something. I really don't understand the story, it's, I don't have the manual, I mean, I never got it in the on the original NES. Well, I rented it, but I never actually bought it. So I I really don't know the backstory that well, but just go with it. It's four different guys trying to oh trying to uh, well get home. And it's an adventure game, but with some slight RPG elements. Well, this is kind of gross. Anyway, yeah. Um what you have to do is travel around the map, find stuff, get better, locate your friends, and all the friend, all the characters have different abilities. So you have to use them to advance through the levels. And there are some slight awkward rules in this game. For instance, if you jump, it's just a regular jump. But if you want to kill something, you have to jump and hold down. Then this happens. If you don't, you land on an enemy and get hurt. Right, so we're going into the first mini boss already. This is one of your friends, Freon. And all the friends you encounter suffer amnesia as you have to fight a little battle and In overall this game is not that hard. I think it's meant for little kids, but still some of the areas and certainly some of the bosses later tend to be really difficult, but this one isn't so bad. There's a lot of stuff to find in this game. A lot of optional items as well. I hope I can remember any I hope I can remember everything. It has been a while since I've played this game. Oh I missed. But I should be okay. Oh I missed again. Ooh, gotcha. You can switch between the characters you've unlocked freely, which helps. Free on Leon, and you can swim on the water and walk through snow and ice. I'm not gonna use save stage, at least I'm not I'm trying to not use them. I found out last time on Battle of Olympus that it really helps to not save state eventually because I get warned by the screensaver which makes it ideal video length and it, well, it's less cheap of course. This game though tends to lag if there's too much stuff on the on the screen but that's a common NES thing. I found the crystal. Oh yeah, this game uses passwords. You see this? The, it's one of those awkward passwords where you have to fill in colored balls in a grid well, I prefer it over some other stuff, like the ridiculous long password with stupid letters and s numbers. Right, so, um, this is special stuff for the password. These are use items, and the items on the, in the bigger box are things you have to collect that will upgrade your characters. Oh, at the bottom are the keys. You need three keys to uh, access special areas, and there's two more players to get. Sadly, there's no switch button. You have to go to the menu every time to switch a character, which is a pain, but... Oh well. It's not that bad. Oh, we can't go in here. What's over here? Hmm. We need other... need Freon for this one. Yeah. This game is really weird. And... 
don't ask me why I have this game on the emulator because if it wasn't for one random day at the store I never would have heard of it. Oh, this is kinda easy, you jump on him, he drops something, you shoot it. Yeah, overall this game is pretty easy but like I said some things, especially later, tend to be really annoying. If only for if only because of the well dumb enemy patterns. You'll see what I mean later. Oh. Got him. There are two kind of mid bosses and they come back every time powered up a little more. He walks really slow. Oh, stars means you get a special power. Yeah, the other guy is called Bob Louie. Bob Louie's secret weapon. Hold down the B button until a heart appears and press it again to attack. Right, so, oh, wrong button, over here. You hold this button and then you shoot your, your head. It's nice, but there's a glitch, of course. If you hold down B, then go to the menu, still holding down B, select him and then select start again. Then you can use his special ability even though you don't have the star for him. And that neat little trick can actually provide us access to well, secret areas you're not supposed to get to when you first go there. I might use that trick, but if I do, I have to save state because I can get stuck if I'm not careful. And yes, it, it is cheating some sort. Going back up now here. Oh, I dropped down. Try again. Oh, what the? Oh, wait a minute. He can't jump well from ladders, right? Let's try with him over here. Yeah, that's worked better. Um, yeah. The enemies in this game ridiculous. The plot makes no sense. Um, items weird. Everything's silly. have to walk on ice. But the music is really good. But what you expect, it's Sunsoft. Every gamer knows Sunsoft. At least ever every NES gamer knows Sunsoft. They make great games. And I encourage you to play, well, not all, but almost every title Sunsoft made is gold. Really. Right. So that's easy. We can't go up because at some point stuff gets too far and we c can't make it. Oh, no. See, it's too far. Also for the other guy, Bob Louie. Really weird name. Anyway, um, no, we can't get that either. We have to follow the arrow. Always drop down if you can't see where you're going. Oh, there's an item over there. Oh, it's the map. Yeah, this game actually has a map on the sub-screen. There you go. It's a big map. Well, we can't see where we are just yet, but soon we will. Always hold down if you can't see where you're going. It's a golden rule. Um, oh, I got hit. What bothers me, if you get hit, you can't see yourself afterwards. Um... Oh, this thing is weird. Again, so many th Oh, we can't go in here. We need something else. So many things in this game are, yeah, ridiculous and make no sense. And the art style is really weird. But, I mean, overall, this is a really great game. And I'm sure it's overlooked. It was never released in America. Only in Europe and I think Japan. But, yeah. Makes you wonder why they never released it. I guess they didn't care. Oh, go over here and drop down. Oh, yeah, nicely. Need this guy. You have to do a lot of backtracking in this game to actually find everything. But yeah, you can you can start backtracking once you have all the characters. And that'll be a while. This is a irritating jump. Oh, we got it. That's the compass. You found the compass. Now you can check your location on the map. That helps a lot. But yeah, it's a big map, and the items to get are really well hidden sometimes. Oh, pick that up. We need all the life we can get. No. 
I'm waiting for my screensaver actually. Hope I'm not oh, exceeding 10 minutes already. I'd be mad if he if he decided not to pop up now. Oh, I've been here. No, I haven't been here. This is something else. Oh, there's my screensaver. Awesome. Well then, I'll just stop recording here and I'll see you next video.